of the Impact Day forecast from the WGAL News 8 Storm Team. Well, the heat and humidity along with some mid and upper level energy will help to develop showers and thunderstorms as we go through the late morning and into the afternoon. And this will all be out ahead of a cold front that will sweep through the area later today. So dew points will continue to rise through the morning hours. It's been quiet for most locations except for Mifflin County and starting to see some showers in uh, western Juniata County. You see the lightning strikes there. Some, uh, potential for some heavy downpours associated with these storms moving through from west, southwest to north east, but you can see it's pretty quiet right now for majority of the area. Temperatures in the low 70s, although we're at 77 in Carlisle, Lewistown 64, 71 in Sealands Grove, and dew points are in the upper 60s to low 70s, and we will see these numbers climbing as a cold front pushes eastward. We get more moisture to surge in across the area, really going to help produce some heavy rainers as we go through the afternoon hours. So thunderstorms with heavy rain likely. Some of the storms could be even on the severe side, so that's something we'll be watching very closely. Highs today in the upper 70s to low 80s will take place, I would say, around lunchtime, and then temperatures will start to drop, especially as that rain moves in. Tonight, mostly cloudy, lingering showers. Could see some areas of fog developing. Temperatures fall back into the mid and upper 60s. And then tomorrow, it's a mainly dry day, except for some isolated showers and thunder showers in the afternoon. Partly sunny skies. Still humid, but improving as the winds shift. And we'll see winds, our, our, our temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So here's a look at the flood watch that goes into effect at noontime today, and that encompasses the entire lower Susquehanna Valley down into Maryland and on up into the eastern portions of the state. And you can see the greatest threat for flooding will be in our eastern counties. So that does include Dauphin, Lancaster, Lebanon, as well as um, York County. And this is where we could see amounts approaching three inches or more. So it looks like we could get one to two inches of rain and it could come down pretty hefty, uh, heavy at times across the area. So the flood threat today, st streets, poor drainage areas, urban areas, and anywhere we see over three inches, we could see some rises on some of the smaller creeks and streams. So we will be keeping an eye on flash flooding today. There is also a severe risk today. It is a slight risk for a majority of the area. That's a two on a scale of one to five. And the main threat with the severe storms will be heavy rain and also some damaging winds. Hail is also a threat and tornado is a threat. We could see a quick spin up, but that threat is very, very low. It's not zero, but it is low. So we've got a warm front that's uh, lifting through the area right now. And then there's some upper level energy that'll swing through this morning that'll help to develop some of those showers and storms. And then the cold front will come in later as we head towards the evening hours. So here's a look hour by hour. We'll time things out for you as we go through the morning hours. We'll start to see some showers developing heading towards 11 a.m. And then we'll start to see those storms developing and you'll notice some fuchsia colors. That's an indication where we could see some of those heftier downpours in some of these storms that move across the uh, region. Here's 630 still seeing some of that activity. It looks like most of the storm activity dies down at 8 o'clock. And then afterwards, we could still see a lingering shower too. Tomorrow morning, a couple of showers in the morning hours, and then we'll watch for those isolated storms in the afternoon. But most of the day is dry. Speaking of dry, it is much drier and even less humid on Tuesday. Wednesday, the humidity does start to return. Highs both days, upper 80s to near 90 degrees, and then storm chances return Thursday. It is a hot day with temperatures in the low 90s. Looks like it'll stay unsettled with daily storm chances right through the